Well, hello. Today we are talking about protocols for buyers and sellers in our current market with our two experts. We have Claire Woodmark Wright, who's the principal broker of Claire Woodmark Wright Realty, Keller Williams, and we have Kimberly Allen, who's the senior escrow officer of First American Title Insurance Company. Kim, that's a lot of words. Just <laughs> tell us what you do. What's escrow? What's title? What do you do all day? Uh, it is a lot of words. So <laughs> escrow is the neutral third party and our job is to handle all of the legal documents and all of the money. So I spend my day talking with real estate agents, loan officers, buyers and sellers. Um, and sometimes if they're represented by attorneys um, and just coordinating all of everything to do with the money and the legal documents. Wonderful. So I'm glad you know how to do all that because I you know, I have an arts degree. I'm a literary person, not a legal person. So, there. so right now, everything's different. We've heard the words protocols about everything. So in your office, what's happening in terms of protocols for signings and getting those closings done? Yeah, that is a really good question. So, I mean, it has been a, um, an evolution from, you know, five or six weeks ago to now. So we started off five weeks ago with a sign that said, we um, uh, are so grateful that you are here, but we will not be shaking hands. And then that has progressed to um, bleaching after every signing, um, asking folks if they'd like to bring their own pens or using ours that are one time, they get to take them when they go. Um, and we've got plexiglass screens in between our uh, signer and the folks that are here signing. We've asked our real estate agent and lending friends to not attend the signings in person. They can uh, do a, a, I know it's sad, um, they can do a Skype or FaceTime to, if they want to participate. Um, and we're, for our sellers, we're doing everything we can by DocuSign. So we're really taking the protocols to keep everybody's um, health and wellness um, just at the forefront of our minds. We're screening every person before we schedule signing with them, making sure that they're feeling well and um, just asking really um, tough questions, but ones that need to be asked so that we can keep everyone as healthy as possible. So bottom line, signings are happening in person. Yeah, so there uh, is just one instance where uh, it does not take uh, an in-person signing, which is a cash buyer. A cash buyer can be entirely done through DocuSign. Um, but if there is a loan uh, for the buyer, um, and uh, up till very recently, all sellers had to, to sign the deeds. I think there's some progress being made uh, with that, with some online notarization within some certain parameters, but that is something that um, has been um, presented to our state for the last few years. So even prior to our current health situation. And um, so we're, we're just trying to evolve with um, the rules about how that would work. But yes, most signings occur in person. Well, you are essential. Your business is definitely essential. So we thank you so much that you and also First American Title are just so on top of it and ahead of the game, really, in terms of making sure that people are not only safe, but also they're, get, they're getting what they need done to go ahead and buy their sell and sell their home. So thank you so much for that. That is good to hear. And then I'm going to go ahead and toss the ball to you. Yeah. What are you doing in terms of the requirements for, for Oregon and Washington with buyers and sellers? Sure, sure. So Oregon has rules and Washington has slightly different rules for showings. Um, Washington will only allow one person on the property with the realtor. So if I have a couple or two buyers who want to see homes in Southwest Washington, then uh, we go one at a time. So uh, one waits in the car and we go in uh, just that other buyer and myself. And then uh, typically what we do is I have a little basket that I take with me out of my car to every single front door <laughs> with every single client. And uh, we have shoe covers. Um, and typically what we do is my clients choose to have their hands in their pockets. They're not touching anything. They bring their own masks, but I have gloves if they want them. And I have Clorox wipes and I take a Clorox wipe and I, from touching the lockbox to the key, to the front door, to the handle, to every single light and doorknob, if they want me to open anything, I will open it. If they want to go out back, I open the door so that they're not touching anything. And that really protects them and it protects the seller. Similar to Kim and their protocol, um, if a client has been around somebody who's been ill or if they've been feeling ill, 
we, we're just not going to go uh, look at homes. One thing we have been doing, which I actually really enjoy, and hopefully we'll get to keep doing this after this is over with our new normal, is we've been spending an, like an hour, hour and a half with buyers looking at homes online together, really evaluating, we'll look at the map together, we'll look at Portland maps, we'll look at permits, and we do it all online on Zoom, and I'll share my screen, and we'll dive deep into RMLS, and we'll check out you know, Southeast Portland or Oregon City or Hillsboro in depth in their price point and see what else is out there. Or we'll go in and see how many cancellations there have been. That, those Zoom conference calls have been amazing. And we really get some quality time to really look into and narrow down some homes. And then if they make that list, then we'll go out and show. And then for our sellers, kind of similar, same thing in Washington. Um, the seller can't be on the property when a buyer and their agent are on the property because only two people can be on that property at one time. So the seller has to be gone. And then again, the broker and, and the uh, one buyer at a time. So for our sellers, uh, we have the same thing for Oregon and Washington. We have um, Mark and my, hu my husband and I, uh, we will meet a buyer's agent and their buyers. No children can be there. And we give them um, a little bag uh, that's been sanitized with Clorox wipes, gloves, and shoe covers. And then we ask them when they're done to put those into that Ziploc baggie and we will get rid of that at the end. So we want to keep our sellers super healthy and we want buyers coming into a healthy environment. For our listings, the sellers have a couple of different options. They can choose to have no showings and showings are only upon an accepted offer, kind of like when you're buying an investment property and there's tenants in there. So that's, that's I've seen that frequently. We're not doing that. Our sellers are not choosing that. But the other option is to have Mark or I there to uh, make sure that we're meeting each buyer's agent with their clients and making sure that um, everything is uh, protocol is really being adhered to. So we're, we're really serious about it and um, it takes more time and more effort and it's okay because it's worth it. And we want our sellers to be safe and we want buyers to be safe. And we also want to continue to help our clients buy and sell. So whatever it takes to, you know, masks and gloves and shoe covers and Clorox wipes, we're okay with that. So um, we work really hard to make sure that we're prepared, regardless of if that listing agent we're visiting that house, if that is prepared or not. Um, typically, I have way more stuff in my box than any listing has. So uh, I tend to overdo stuff like that, but it's okay. It's worth it. And I think our buyers and our sellers really appreciate that. Absolutely. And I love how proactive you've been through this process. Is the always thinking, I swear, a week or two ahead of the state and the national government. I mean, you're like, okay, well, we need to do this now. And then a week or two later, guess what? We all need to do that now. So <laughs> thank you so much for being so forward thinking. So really that whole parade of open house people, you know, looky loose or whatever, that's not happening. And there's some really wonderful solutions that you've spoken to, to get around that and make sure that your homes that are listed for those sellers are definitely getting looked at thoughtfully and carefully. And I would say there's one thing I would add to that, you know, in our showing protocol, and I've, I've experienced it as a showing agent for my buyers. Um, I Last week, I showed several, uh, six homes in Vancouver, five homes in Vancouver, and two of the homes required pre-approval letters before they would set the appointment. So I'm seeing a real tightening of that. And our showing protocol for our listings we're asking the agent to make sure they are pre-approved, but we haven't been asking for the actual pre-approval letter. But I think that there are some standards that are getting tightened up in this process. Um, I had a phone call uh, for one of our listings that went in double offers last week and they didn't have an agent and they just wanted to see the house. And you know what, this isn't the time for that. If you're a serious home hunter, you are pre-approved, you have your ducks lined up and you have your realtor lined up and your realtor is the person who will show you these homes. Um, I think the days of, um, hey, I'm just curious on a whim, uh, drop what you're doing and show me this house. I think those days are really gone. I think people need to be prepared and be ready um, because you, we have a health concern. And so um, the seller deserves that respect to have someone who's prepared and the buyer's agent and the listing agent deserve to have a buyer who's also prepared. Um, so that really means that people who are looking are serious. And um, that means I would rather have fewer showings and serious buyers than my poor sellers cleaning their house every half hour, 
you know, um, and we've really been able to prevent that, which is, is good, which means serious buyers make appointments and serious buyers are getting into contract, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. And so we think about that initial part of the buying and selling process as just viewing, looking, you know, being thoughtful. The next big chunk is inspection. So how yes. are inspections happening in this new normal? Yes. So, and even just to back up a little bit, even in listing preparation in Washington, again, no more than two people can be on that property at a time. So if I've got a photographer going over to a house, sellers have to be gone. Um, when, in, when that house goes into escrow, um, sellers have to be gone for inspections. And when the inspection happens, only the inspector and the realtor can be there. Uh, buyers can't be there because you can't have more than two people and the realtor is responsible for the property. So um, yeah, so inspectors thankfully are deemed essential in Washington. Uh, it's been about 10 days now, I think, that Washington has been real estate is deemed as essential. Um, same thing for Oregon, but we can have uh, more than, uh, we can have three people on the property. So like today, we have a reinspection on a buyer's purchase in Southwest. And so the inspector will be there. My husband will be there. The buyer will pop by just to walk through really quick, but everyone maintains social distance. And again, we have shoe covers, gloves, they bring their masks and we have Clorox wipes. So um, every single piece, whether it's a chimney repair or a plumber, um, we have had a couple of repairs where uh, contractors have to come into a client's home. We leave them shoe covers, you know, gloves, Clorox wipes. So we just want everyone to, everyone who comes into the home, whether it's our listing or for a buyer, um, it's just super, super stringent, and uh, we all have to follow those those rules. That's what allows us to stay in business. It's what allows us to stay essential, and it's what allows Oregon to have a looser, uh, a looser uh, stay home, stay safe, stay safe time than a lot of other states that are a lot more locked down. Well, that's very good information to know because it certainly is a different approach than what we've been used to in terms of buying and selling. So thank you for addressing that for us. And now, Claire, I just want you to clarify and add on to what Kim was talking about in terms of closings. So what's happening from your perspective with things that we haven't already heard of uh, on Kim's side? Yeah, no, so it's really a big change. I love to go to closings. It's it's one of the rewards for the hard work of finding a home, getting it into escrow and celebrating with your client or your seller, you know, helping them get their house ready and getting it on the market and waiting for that right buyer. So it's a bummer to not be there in person. And um, we're so grateful that, um, I think Kim, you said you have 77 protocol items on your checklist for safety. <laughs> Amazing. So um, buyers still have to go in if they're not a cash purchase um, and, and most aren't, maybe 25 or 30% are cash, the rest are uh, finance. So I'm just grateful that um, our title insurance escrow companies have really, gone above and beyond to make sure our buyers are comfortable and they feel safe and our sellers, you know, they can typically do stuff uh, with DocuSign and a notary. So um, that's just been the only, the only downside is not being able to be there when they sign, but I do get to be there when they get keys. So the <laughs> celebration still happens just six feet apart. So <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Throw the keys, Claire, throw, yeah, the, throw keys. the keys. I like that. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. Well, and how fantastic is it that you can entrust your clients that you've worked with for weeks, you know, usually 30 days plus, you can entrust them to someone. Months, like, a year. She's taking <laughs> amazing care of them on her side. So that's yeah. a fantastic partnership. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, that's great. Thank well, you, anything yeah. else we need to address, Claire? Last words? No, I just think right. there's a new normal and new. It is a new normal. And mm -hmm. I think it's changing how all of us do business. And I think a lot of it is actually really, really wise. So I think, um, I think it's good. I think the new normal is going to keep some of those things. Some of these things are going to float over to the new normal. Yes. And I think that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely agree. Thank you, Kim, so much for your yeah. insight, for explaining to us what you do. And then just for all the wonderful ways that you do take care of clearance clients, excuse me, not only with their legal work, but just as a person, you know, how wonderful that you're there and you help to kind of bridge the gap for Claire not being there. So thank you both. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, Jean.